your name here is a chance for the people of St. Helens to nominate someone to become the name of a new park in St. Helens in perpetuity forever. So it starts off with uh, a giant neon sign that says your name here above the town hall. And then we will launch a competition and people can enter that with the name that they want to name the new park. And we're, we're thinking people's names, so you can nominate your mum or your sister or your friend or whatever it is. And you need to give us the reason why. And you can do that by writing a story about them or by telling us, giving us a film or really whatever you want, whatever kind of creative response you want. You can even just give an object. And uh, then a panel of judges are going to look through those uh, nominations and the reasons that are submitted and select one. And then we will launch the new park with its new name in the late summer of 2015. And then we'll have an exhibition that is formed by some of the nominations that people have submitted. Absolutely. So really, this is about a portrait of St. Helens. Who are the people in St. Helens? What are the stories in the city? Who, is it, who are the role models in St. Helens? Who do we want uh, the role models to be? What are, the, what are the stories on the street? What are the real stories that, that we can hear about? You want. Um, it could be somebody that's been supportive to you in a time of need. It could be a forgotten local hero, somebody that you think that hasn't been recognised. It could be a historical figure, or it could be, you know, somebody just very personal to you. It could be yourself. You can nominate yourself as well if you want. Well, I hope it gets a conversation going about um, who we think are important role models that we would have in society today. So instead of it being some kind of distant celebrity on the television or whatever, it's like who in our community um, do we want to acknowledge? And I suppose also it's about getting people to think creatively about life and lives and how you, how you write that down or how you make a picture of that or how you make a film of that or write a song about it. So it's about getting people to think creatively as well. Well, yeah, I mean, to be perfectly honest, I don't care whether people think that it's art or not. It's really more about community. Um, I'm an artist. I've been asked to kind of do a project in St. Helens. And, and, and what I'm interested in as an artist is how people communicate with each other. What, what, are, the, what, are, the, what are human stories? I think that that's art, if you like, it, it offers a permission for people to do things or think in ways that they might otherwise not normally do. So really I see this competition as a kind of excuse to get the community talking. Whether or not people think of the whole project as an artwork or not is less important to me and I'm not particularly precious about that. What's the first step of the competition for you then? So the first thing is installing this neon sign on the town hall, the front of the town hall that says your name here. And I'm quite excited about that. I think it, it, people will pass and think, what is that? So it will act as a kind of advertisement for the project. The first thing that we will do is put that sign on to, onto the town hall. Yeah, I've done a kind of similar mechanism before, but not, not quite like we're doing it in St. Helens. Um, so I did a giant uh, name in lights in Birmingham. Um, actually millions of people engage with that project but in a very light touch way so um, they just had to give a name and a couple of words of why for that name uh, I did a project in London where the names were planted out in ornamental carpet bedding displays so this is a form of planting that fell out of favour after the first world war because it's very labour intensive and all the labour had gone off to war so you have to cut the plants back every single week so they're never allowed to flower. But that means that you can basically draw with the plants. And I did a project in Portugal where we named a street uh, in perpetuity after an ordinary citizen. But in St. Helens, this time, the kind of focus being on building this portrait of the citizens and really trying to get, ideally I'd like everybody in St. Helens to have heard about this project. So to get the whole town involved in some way, that's, that feels some, a new step, a kind of more ambitious step for this kind of body of work that I've been making.